are making a sun-dried tomato hummus. I love this recipe and I love making it, especially for breakfast with some delicious pita or as we call it in the Balkans, somun bread, which is very similar to pita. Uh, and it's just the perfect the snack when you have some guests and when you just like wanna uh, eat some delicious rich food. Uh, in this recipe I just wanted to connect the Balkans with the uh, Middle Eastern food and um, make this uh, delicious combination uh, and blend it together. Let's start! <music> This recipe we are going to need a couple of ingredients so here there we'll need olive oil tahini chickpeas you can use uh, either canned or uh, the ones that are in a jar or you can uh, cook them yourself at home sun-dried tomatoes some garlic and half a lemon. From spices, we are going to uh, use salt, uh, pepper, uh, cumin, and uh, if you want, you can also add some mustard seeds. Let's start by adding all the ingredients, except of the chickpeas, into the cup of your blender or a food processor and blend them until smooth. and uh, now I'm going to blend again. This is my favorite part when we decorate the plate, add the hummus and add all the beautiful and delicious toppings. So first I'm going to start with uh, sun-dried tomatoes and spread some. Chop the tomatoes finely and make sure to be careful because uh, they are a bit slippery since they've been soaked into olive oil. Next we are going to add our hummus to the plate and spread it evenly. It's time to add the toppings now. I will first use the olive oil from the jar of sun-dried tomato. I love to use this because it has a beautiful fragrance. I also like to use the sun-dried tomatoes and chickpeas and sometimes uh, you can also add a little bit of lemon juice on top. with sun-dried tomatoes and I'm about to try it. Uh, this bread that I'm gonna try it with, it's called somun, it's very famous in the Balkans. 
It's a bit similar to the Greek pita, but not uh, fully the same. Uh, it has the similar shape when you buy it, uh, but uh, it has like empty space inside and it's more crispy, it's not as soft as the pita, uh, which I cannot prefer more. Uh, so here we go, let's try it. I'm gonna break a little bit. Mm. It's unbelievable. I love it. I haven't made this recipe in a while. It's so great. I can't wait for you to try this recipe. And uh, if you do, please uh, use the hashtag on Instagram, gratefullyvegan, and tag me, and I'm going to like and comment on it. Don't forget to uh, like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share it with your friends, inspire them to eat more vegan food and uh, to just eat some delicious hummus. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.